Hey guys, welcome back to Social Studies. So we're con continuing to talk about one of our five themes of geography today, which is movement. And movement can be the movement of people, but it can also be the movement of ideas, values, traditions, things like that. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So how do ideas and values and traditions get transferred from one place to another? Well, hopefully you have already read your little passage here. This talks about that a little bit. And then after this passage, you're going to look at some different cultures within this read aloud here. You're just going to listen through the reading and think about different traditions and values. This one specifically talks about food. Um, what type of values have been brought over to where we live? Maybe what different types of cultural food do you have in your family that might be unique to you? And that's the question I want you to think about for um, reading through this story here. There will also be a, another section where you can do some more digging on different cultural books and different traditions found in our country and other countries. And I'll put that at the bottom as an optional assignment that you can look through. So your assignment that we're going to be moving on towards right now is we're going to really dig deeper into how Native Americans and European settlers, how did they interact? How were their cultures mixed? Because if I scroll back up to the top, that's what this passage is talking about here. It says when Europeans settled in America, they had their own ideas and their traditions that they followed. But when they settled in America, there were already people living here, the Native Americans. They also had their own ideas and their own culture. So there was a mixing of these two different cultures. And it did cause conflict. There was fighting amongst them because they didn't have the same culture. They didn't necessarily agree on things. Not all the time. They did have some good trading that they would do and some other helpful um methods, for example, farming that they would teach each other, but there was still conflict overall. And that's the overall big idea that we're going to be looking at today. So let me open up this image here. So one thing I just talked a little bit about is the ideas and traditions and values that were brought from one country to another. So Native Americans that were already living in America, they didn't have things like knives or guns but they were able to trade those with the Europeans. Most of the Native Americans were friendly to the Europeans at first, enjoying that trading relationship like I spoke about. So Europeans would trade guns and knives for things like fur and different plants that they had here in America. Um, they tra their trade relationship be between the settlers and Native Americans got worse when the Native Americans were treated unfairly. So yes, there was this cultural mix, things were going good, but then the Native Americans were starting to get taken advantage of and their trade relations and their relationships in their cultures became um, not so peaceful anymore because they, they didn't like how they were being treated. But our overall idea right now that we're talking about is ideas and traditions being brought from one place to another. So take a look at this map here. On this side, oops, on this side here we have Europe in this area. And Europe has different things in their area of living that America did not have and vice versa. So America had new plants over here that Europe did not have. When settlers started moving to, the, to America, they began this trade exchange. They would trade their ideas, they would change trade belongings and diseases as well from one place to another. So if you look here, we see from Europe, we have things coming this way. So we have coffee beans, peaches, pears, olives, bananas, citrus fruits, honeybees, grain, sugar cane, onions, turnips, grapes, livestock, and then we also have diseases coming over. Now diseases really did hurt the Native Americans because the Europeans had built kind of like an immunity to some of these diseases. They could still get sick, but they weren't getting extremely sick. They weren't passing away because of these illnesses. They were being brought to America and the Native Americans were becoming very, very sick because they did not have an immunity to them. 
then from America, we have all these wonderful things coming over to Europe, like pumpkins and avocados and peanuts and tomatoes and vanilla, lots of things coming over. And this was a trade process that was coming on um, of goods from one place to another. But this is an example of goods, but there's also the example of ideas and traditions. So for example, Europeans that were coming over, they wore a certain type of clothes. Their clothes then would get brought over to America and that tradition is pushed more into the culture on America. Um, same with things like it said previously with guns and different tools that would really be beneficial to hunting over in America. Other things that might have get, gotten brought over, which is what we're going to be talking about today, is how... Europeans and how Native Americans valued the land. So if I go back to that passage here, um, Europeans really thought about the land differently than Native Americans did. Europeans wanted to claim land. They said, this is, this is our specific land. They could buy land where Native Americans didn't really think of it like that. So that also caused conflict and it did cause Europeans to take advantage of the Native Americans in that way. So our big idea for our assignment, if I pull that up here, uh, our big idea, this is what you'll be doing today, Impact of Movement, European Exploration. So read the article, Impact of Movement. Think about how one action caused a ripple effect in new actions or events. Identify the central action in the article and rate in the center circle. Then identify the ripples or resulting actions. Add those to the larger circle. So I have provided you with the first big main idea that we're talking about today, which is Europeans settled in America. That is our main topic. Because Europeans have settled in America, what is the effect of that? So think of this as our cause and the ripples are the effect. America settled in, or excuse me, Europeans settled in America. What happened next? Well, you're gonna wanna go back to your reading and you might even wanna do a split screen like this. That way I can read my passage while I have my other paper on the side. So America settled in, excuse me, let me say that again. <laughs> Europeans settled in America. That's our first thing that I got right from my passage here. Then what happened next? You're going to read through here and place different events in our ripple effect. So our next ripple could be um, America's Europeans settled in America. That's our first idea. They had specific ideas about owning land. Those ideas were different from, from the Native Americans. That's what I would put in that second ripple. That is the, the first main conflict that we see. Europeans settled in America. We realized they have different ideas about their cultures and owning land. Then what happened? That will go in your next ripple. So read down here. What are things that happen next? You can use your pictures to come up with ideas or anything that we talked about today. This assignment is specific to Native Americans and Europeans. So we're not going to talk about the other cultures that we read about in our book, or in our book Read Aloud. This paper is just about this passage right here. So you will go ahead and do that. I would like them in complete sentences. I know it's kind of small, but just do your best with that. If you have any questions, reach out to your teachers. Have a great day.